Yo, once again, we live in the fucking cathedral, man, and I told y'all this shit will never stop, not until we on top, and that's the city of Megan. Hey, I'm live once again, I told y'all once before, every day we're gonna bring y'all a new, innovative, max time underground artist, I'm doing it again. I got that guy with me, one of my brothers, Tune Mind Music CEO. I write. Show me what's up, I write. I'm gonna go turn the music down. We listen to I write right now. I'm gonna go turn it down so we can get this I write mind right there. Y'all hold on, you're gonna get with y'all, man. Y'all know. This your boy I write. You know what I'm saying? Tune Mind Music, Purple Boy Entertainment. You know, been in the game for years. I'm an old school, y'all. I'm an old school. I've been in this thing for a minute, but him fucking with my boy seeing sign, you know what I'm saying? I always love them, my brother, you know what I'm saying? It ain't all the way about music, man. Y'all might, we might come over here and be talking about politics or whatever. But, you know. It's two of my music, all right. Two of them, yeah, 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 man. Live in the cathedral. Look, the goal of the cathedral is to bring you all, not some, but all of the innovative artists making God the offer. This is one of those guys. He got a click. They call Tune My Music. They make mind music. If you've been on the internet. And if you know this guy, you should have a copy of Moon Patrol. It's everywhere. One of the singles. It's been out for a minute, so if you ain't heard it, you need to hear it. All right, man. Tell these folks what I right got going on right now. Right now, I'm dropping this Moon Patrol uh, mixtape. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my nigga, Four Pine. Four you know Pine. You know what I'm saying? The whole movie, man. Boy Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? That's my beat, man. But, you know, we coming out with this uh, Moon Patrol mixtape. You know? Hey, to say this might be my last time just rapping on anything. The last you know, time, this is the last time. I'm, I'm, man, I'm old school, man. You know, I gotta go into other stuff. You know, I, I'm more into, you know, innovating artists. You know what I'm saying? I won't, definitely, I won't definitely. get behind the scenes and work with people. You know what I'm saying? It ain't all about me. But what me and my clique offer, we offer that mind music. You know what, what I'm saying? I'm a nigga from the street. You know what I'm saying? But my my music never glorified the street. Nah. It, it, all the music I ever, this this one, the guys from the city who close and personal with me, like a brother to me, I listen to his music as a person that don't know him. And his music is reflective of a mind state of an elevated person. That's why it's called Moon Patrol. Because at the end of the day, man, the word and the myth, the message and the movement get you high. Like some, name some of the artists that you like to work with besides your clique. Name some of the artists in making that you like to work with or would like to work with. Oh, man. I don't have no limitation, man. I don't work from straight gangster gangster niggas to niggas that on level with me, my music, you know what I'm saying? I don't record it for gangster gangster niggas, you know what I'm saying? It's just, I bring my element in it and kind of bring it where the people can. You got you got some people I don't listen to gangster music. Yeah. Maybe you listen to it or to my music way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can accept it, understand what they're saying. But Soon man, the music what he's saying, he don't glorify the gangster lifestyle. He gives the real ends and not and from a guy who lived that life. You know what I'm talking about? When I when I first started, you know, everybody know me as the hustler. You know what I'm saying? When they found out I was doing music, it was strange to deal with it. Oh, tell them what first. they alias is. Tell them what they call you, man. Heavy pocket, Mr. Skinny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All you got to do is wave and walk in front of Canada lady. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. I just had to let y'all know that, man. Go yeah. ahead, Brian. You know, heavy, yeah, heavy pocket, Mr. Skinny. You know what I'm saying? You know, you hear a lot of my boy call me that. You know what I'm saying? But, oh, I see and, that. Hold up, bro. We got a question. He said, how do you feel about working with young artists? Like, the new man. Man, that's what I'm talking about. I don't hate on them. Look, he got I a love, label. 
I love the y'all artists, and I feel like they misunderstood because yeah. they're expressing themselves. Yeah, and they but wait. you got to get to them, because we're not standing up at man and training them how we how you supposed to stand up. So I don't, I love y'all artists, it's you know what I'm shit. saying? It's real shit. I put them down, I put them, I, I, that's why I say it might be my last time rapping, because I really want to work with this young generation. Yeah. Lyrical content I asked feel, that. Dog, yeah. He got a label, man. He just told you he working on a label. He got a label. Get with him, man. You know, after the show, man, Ted, he, he gonna be on the post. Get with him, man. Like that dude, Lyrical Content, he still yeah. was on the show. Okay, he good, yeah, man. I, I seen that. Yeah. I, yeah, I remember him from the other show. Yeah. But, you know, hey, all the mess with, I don't mess with. You, Ben Jones, you know. Shout uh, out Ben Major, man. Oh, oh. Man, it, it, it been so many of uh, snow. Y'all know Freddy what snow. Up, Freddy Freddy snow. snow. What up, what up? You know what I'm saying? Man, we don't work through various artists, and I'm still going. Uh, my, my nigga Luke Benzino. Uh -huh. Benzino, what up, man? Man, you know what I'm Benzo. saying? Benzino. Got tracks with him, and you know, uh, I got a couple of people up in the A time that want to work with me, but you know, nigga have to get his shit straight, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to, you got to put your money into yourself if you want something out of it. Speaking of saying that, like, give these young artists some advice on because you don't been out here in the game in the streets of making and always in music being one of the main focal points. Could you tell these artists, the younger artists, what? They have to go through in order to man, get your shit out. Listen, here. man, you got to be patient. You know, everybody got their time to shine. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Stop going to these studio, letting these niggas just record you and kicking you out. If he say he's a producer, produce me, nigga. Yep. Come Bill. back and tell me now. Nah, it'll sound better like this. Let's try it like that. You know what I'm saying? Get your money worth. You know what I'm saying? Don't be too eager just to hear the shit and let everybody in. So most of the niggas ain't gonna support you anyway. Too, you know too. what I'm saying? You got to be within yourself and outside. Real. You got to network outside of making cause you know, you go outside of makeup, people show you more love than you see in your own city and you and you really know what you got. I don't have college students hit me saying, I ain't got that much money, but I will pay for or uh, one of your tracks. And they hit me like, wow, this is a college student yeah. struggling, say they ain't got much money, but they'll spend that 99 cents just to have that song. Yeah. You know what I'm That's saying? That's a passion for the music that the, the consumer has. We got another question, bro. Um, it's like, if you could be, it, be any old school singer, who would it be? Mm. <laughs> what kind of question? Ooh, ooh. And you talking about old school singer, man, I ought to go back to Parliament. You know? Yeah, you know I'm thinking about I'm that saying? era, that era, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Maybe Parliament boots and collar them, you know what I'm saying? You know, that that's my kind of feel right now, yeah. but you know, I'm out cause I'm always in a space age future wish. You know what I'm saying? Just I already know I already know the government flying so you know what I'm saying? I try to keep teach my kids to stay a step ahead. Yeah. You know Speaking what I'm of saying? government, we are this is a musical broadcast, but like I tell y'all, man, music is so heavy involved when it comes to politics. Yeah. Speaking of politics, bro, like what, did, what what would you say I write and tune my music could do for this generation when it comes to the ways of the world, the way the world is? Where do you feel like your music fit in with the policies and the politics of the world as far as nursing these children to the right direction? Well, for one, tune my music will bond in with the youth. Yeah. And put the old school and the new school back together yeah. and start working together. You know what I'm saying? Well, we can teach the kids yeah. to come up out the oh, we gotta get back like the back pound to have breakfast programs and, and stuff like that. We got community we gotta programs. Teach, we gotta teach y'all with younger men that this shit real out here. That's why I feel oh, like it, a lot of it got away. I feel like a lot of the music got away from teaching. And it's yeah. hard to glorify the ills yeah. instead of That's why kids people out are so hard on young folks, the young folks music, the young folks yeah. music. Cause they're not talking about what they expect to hear. Yeah. 
So let's get what they expect yeah, to hear. Yeah, yeah. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Exactly, because at the end of the day, it's a movement involved. Even when when you speak of these kids, we like to speak ill on them like he just said. But at the end of the day, a generation of older people raise this generation. And we can look back and say, you know, um, them kids like this and they wearing a little pants, they doing this. Think about this. You know, and, I'm, and it's a deep thought. I ain't going to even go further past the quiz when I tell you. Think about this. Think about this. The generation that we came from is the reason we are the way we are. The generation under us taught us these things. Look at the generation that's out right now. And this is the generation that's under us. Stop blaming these kids for the way things is, man. Man, right. And let, let roll with them and for teach them how supposed to be the real. All right, man, you know, this is about hip hop. And it's about hip hop in the underground scene of making. And I just want to know, I write in, in, I write local CD player. Who I write bumping right now, man? Who you feeling from the city right now that's, that's making some moves? Well, besides yourself, of course. Man, you know, I listen to, you know, of course, I listen to you. I listen to Shay. So I, say what up. You know, my boy, uh, Insane. Insane, what up, man? You know, here last night. You know, all, all local, man. All local get played before, you know, anything else. Real talk. Because it ain't no contest of who better than who, because everybody, I like to see somebody represent a different style. Yeah. You know, like, now nah, he ain't been here. Now nah, they two different nah. styles. You know what I'm saying? Uniquely. Yeah, I like to see somebody embrace themselves. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I hear every day, you look like Snoop. You look yeah. like Snoop. Look at him. You know what Every I'm day, somebody, I just seen a Facebook post with somebody <laughs> comparing him to Snoop. Like, yeah. But you know, this is I, Snoop distant relative. I'm telling. I don't know, you know if he's gonna be here. Just because I hear that, don't, don't make. I'm a fan of Snoop, but that don't make me you start rapping like Snoop. Want to be like Snoop? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, I like a lot of his music. But you know, and uh, you got to be ourselves and stand out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And give back to our community. Be an individual. Stop wasting your money going to the clubs and getting something that maybe going to give you something. Yeah. And put it in yeah. something you know you're going to get something yeah. put back. You know, something that you can't touch that's going to stack up while you're doing your thing. Yeah. You know what I'm and Then saying? you got to think about this. We in the day and age of the internet, man. Ain't nobody got no excuses for saying they can't get their music everywhere. Yeah, right. You got the internet, bro. You can sit in your living room and go to China if you want to. Or you can go to Amsterdam. You can go anywhere with your music. What, what are some of the places you done took? Because I know you Ooh. personally done been all over the internet with your music. Like, dude has a way bigger following elsewhere than he does here. Yeah. What's some of your some of the places like your music? Tell them the reach of your music. Well, I got a heavy rotation in Florida. I got a heavy rotation in uh, California. And believe it or not, I got a... Uh, I have a rotation overseas, man. Overseas. That's what my, the money is. Yeah, that's what, that, 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 that what the cash is. You know what I'm saying? But if I had the money, man, I would have been on Tuck Off. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? I thank God for where I'm here or not. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, just right. him telling me it ain't my time yet. Like Everything happens in the It don't matter time. how old I get. Like my dad always said, nah. it ain't over till you gone. It ain't over till you quit. So you stop, that's when it's over with. That's the when you stress quit. ain't over till you gone. No, the problems ain't gone till you gone. No, sir. You know, you know, it's just a, it's the way of the world, man. You about, know what I'm saying? We're about to wrap up, but I got one more question. That's right. It say, what in your music history-wise has changed your life the most? What about what in music are you pursuing it, making it, just loving it? What, how has that changed your life? Like as far as like. How you want, how you was living before music took control wow. of your love of life. Yeah. That, that's Tell a, these people what music do to you, what that, it do that, for that, you. That, that's a good question yeah. because I was in the street and my boy was doing the music, but I was still the hustling trying to fund it where we could get programs and learn how yeah. to do this shit ourselves. Yeah. And in the midst, you know, it, it, just, it just took over with like bumping. Yeah. If you stay in these streets, you gonna stay hustling. Yeah. If you want, if you say you were hustling to do the music, do it. Yeah. And once I got into it, start producing and start getting love from in the A time and everything, doing shows up now, you know. I don't have scary moments where niggas performing, but 
the crowd came with them cheering for me. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, I, I don't be in these contests as well. We had to do songs four times back to back to back to back. Like they were testing us. And it was a lot of times we were by ourselves and we would have had some of our folk with us. We would have won. We come to soccer place and all that. But we did get to connect. You know what I'm the passion behind it. So yeah. if you got so for the person asking that question, the answer is music changed his life for the better. He just told you, man, he was bad slide. He wasn't really thinking about no music as far as the kids. His, his people was with him. Yeah. And he was like, nigga, my life is out here and something happened. And it happened to everybody who fought in love music. All of a sudden, you just love something intangible. And that's a really love of all Man, when I start working with this guy here, we known each other all yeah. our life. Yeah. We didn't know each other now. Yeah. We had been in certain places. Didn't know we were relatable and everything. It, it related and everything. But when I start working with him, I was like, hmm. That's the mind music, you know. Uh, so we started collaborating, and man, man, this my dog, him, man. We, y'all really want to know how we go together? Y'all check out this Moon Patrol with my boy Four Pie. You know what I'm saying, man? It's gonna be real. gonna be stupid. You know, you see this guy in the public. If you see him on Facebook. Whatever you see him man, asking for a copy of that music, man, because I'm telling you, it is what you need if you just like one of those people that like to sit back and reflect after you get our work and you don't been through a hard day and you just want to roll one or sip some. He got the shit that you can put on and relax to. We got one We got one more question. We're going to have to get to this next segment, man. And I appreciate y'all rocking with fucking I right in the cathedral. Man, right. The question is, what's the funniest thing you have seen at a show? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I'm trying to think. What, what happened to us up there, Rich? I know it's going to be some crazy shit. Uh, well, that's when, news, we were that, when we were up there, when those girls were talking about turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on. Yeah. Tell these people the story of the Jello shots. <laughs> Man, I'm talking about these girls with all the Jello shots and... Man, they went crazy. And uh, we had performed a phone call out of time, out of time. Okay. And they were like, uh, when they call us up, like when I told them they call us up, uh, back to back to back. Yeah, yeah. And they were like, oh, DJ said, oh, yeah, you got, you going to be on some out of time drug. And, and one more motherfucker say, turn up in this motherfucker. I'm going to check this motherfucker. And then we were like, DJ? Man, way, it was way before the turn down here. I had a lot of that shit. Man, I had a lot of that shit on field, This is DJ. How the DJ gonna tell motherfuckers about oh. to turn up? But if y'all want to know the funniest thing, though, just hit my page and ask for the picture. Because my whole boy asked me, what would I do? If I turn around and see my other homeboy looking like he was looking. If y'all see that picture, <laughs> go to our right page. It's Dwight Atkins. <laughs> go to our right page. Man, it, it's picture. a lot of crazy stuff that I have, man. A like, lot of crazy. I don't see niggas fight on Pope Chop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? welcome to Megan Dawson. Oh, Pope Chop. Man. Nigga try to eat. Pole chop on the road. Come on, man. That like a, a pole chop ain't nothing but a country nigga snake. Yeah, we on the budget <laughs> on the road, nigga, man, because he ain't getting no pole chop. <laughs> 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 hey man, look, we got to roll, you know what I'm talking about? Before we go, I ask this question to every artist because I have to. God made me, and I got to ask, all right, all right. Yes, sir, yes, sir. All right, all right. It's the end of the world, dog. You twirling through space, and, and, and you like, what the fuck? And don't ask me how he breathing through space. He's with Moon Pro, check it out. He flown through space, dog. You like, what the fuck? Ain't nothing but the blackness and the vast deepness of space. And he like, what the fuck going on? And he feel it pocketing. And he see, what the fuck? He got a walk man in his motherfucking pocket. Now, he finna die. This is the last rhyme for fucking I write, man. He flown through space, man. And he got a fucking CD player in his pocket. And the headphones. And the batteries work on this motherfucker. Right? So he put the headphones on. All right, what? Is the name of the song that you finna play? I asked that shit. I'm gonna be serious. I'm gonna play that pop. It's gonna be that pop. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna be serious. Damn, Mama Raisin Hill. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mama Raisin Hill, right. Mama Raisin Hill, right. Mama Raisin Hill right. way too pop. Now, 
I don't ask you a question at least 12 times, and I done got popped three times out of asking me a question. And I done got all kind of answers. Pop three times. I got Michael Jackson two times. I got Marvin Gaye sex with Hitler one time. Shout out to Goody Supreme. My butt said he gonna die to Marvin Gaye sex with Hitler. But guess what? We at the end of the interview segment, and y'all know what the fuck's gonna go down next, right? I got one microphone, right? I got six beats, six minutes, and I write, right? <laughs> we finna shadow box. Shaolin shadow boxing in the hey, Mac Time Sword style. Man. Black, this is black music. You know what I'm saying? Moon Patrol, y'all. Moon Patrol and May. Y'all be looking out for that. Hey, anything you want to say something before we tune out, man? Anything you want to tell anybody? Any kind of message you want to send out? What you want to tell these folks? Where I write for the lead for the people, man. Man, y'all keep doing what y'all doing. Y'all some cool cats. Shout out to all the MCs, DJs, and producers. I'm loving what y'all doing. Up. It ain't you, it's them. It's they don't up. know what kind of treasure we is. You know what I'm saying? Never give up. Keep your head on. Y'all fuck with your boy. Straight up. Fuck with your you boy. don't fail until you quit. We live. All right. The cathedral. Come right the fuck back, because we're going to be right back at your ass in one 